Welcome back. Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton are facing intra-party tensions. Members of the Republican establishment, like Jeb Bush and John Kasich, are pledging not to attend the party's upcoming convention. Donald Trump responding to those splits this week. When you have all these guys, and, you know, it was a rough primary, and they got beat up, and but they went after me, too. And, you know, we beat them up, and uh, now they don't want to endorse. And, you know, it's almost, in some ways, like I'm running against two parties. And on the Democratic side, Bernie Sanders still has not endorsed Hillary Clinton, keeping many of his supporters behind him. With so many unhappy voters on both sides of the aisle, is there space for a third-party candidate? A recent NBC Wall Street Journal poll gave Libertarian presidential nominee Gary Johnson 10% of the vote. So will it be enough? Joining me now is Libertarian presidential nominee Gary Johnson. And Governor Johnson, I want to talk big picture with you off the bat here. What is your path to the presidency? Well, uh, I wouldn't be doing this if there weren't the opportunity to win. And having Bill Weld as a running mate, I think that um, that broadens the path. Uh, but uh, the only way that we have of winning is to be in the presidential debates. And to be in the presidential debates, you have to be at 15 percent in the polls. On the plus side, uh, we're now being uh, an afterthought in a lot of these polls. Clinton, Trump, and then they'll ask another question, add Johnson. And we're pretty much showing up at 10 uh, percent in these polls. But how about... Uh, Johnson, uh, Trump, and Clinton right at the get-go, and I think if they will do that, uh, that uh, we'll actually be at 15 percent. You said that having Weld on the ticket does broaden your support. That certainly is true with uh, at least one person, Mitt Romney, who spoke to Wolf Blitzer about the ticket. Take a listen. If Bill Weld were at the top of the ticket, it would be very easy for me to vote for Bill Weld for president. So I'll get to know uh, Gary Johnson better and see if he's someone who uh, I, could, uh, I could end up voting for. Uh, that's something which, which I'll uh, evaluate over the coming uh, weeks and months. Have you talked to Mitt Romney? Are you trying to get that support? Well, uh, look, I think he's uh, the same as a lot of people, and uh, it is an opportunity to really, pe people are tuning in. It's really happening and uh, all a good thing. We offer a unique stools to the chair, fiscally conservative, over the top, two former Republican governors uh, serving two terms, getting reelected by big margins in heavily blue states. Mitt Romney is someone who's a real influencer. There are a number of Republicans who would listen to him if he said, you know what, I, I now, uh, I like Bill Weld, but I, I now like Gary Johnson and this is something I can get behind. Has Bill Weld or have you been in touch with Mitt Romney to court what could be some very important support? You know, I, I think there's been some outreach, but important is that uh, individuals like Mitt Romney want to find out, and that's what he expressed. Uh, that's what he expressed, and I'm going to take him at his word that he will uh, take a hard look at Gary Johnson. And I think he'll find that uh, what he sees that he'll, at the end of the day, like. We'll see what happens. Former President Bill Clinton really sparking a controversy this week. He had a private conversation with Loretta Lynch, the attorney general, who has overseen the investigation of Hillary Clinton's private email server. Lynch is not recusing herself. She still wants to be briefed on the Clinton investigation, but she says she fully expects to, quote, accept the recommendation of the FBI and the Department of Justice. Do you think she needs to recuse herself? You know, I, I'll leave that uh, judgment to others. Um, I'm not a stone thrower when it comes to Hillary Clinton and her emails and her server. I don't think there has been criminal intent on Hillary Clinton's part, so I don't see an indictment. Donald Trump is moving closer at this point to picking his running mate. There's a Trump advisor who told CNN's Jim Acosta that former House Speaker Newt Gingrich is under serious consideration for the job. What's your assessment of Newt Gingrich? Would his selection improve your confidence in Trump or no? Well, uh, I have differences with Newt Gingrich, but uh, regardless of the ticket, I have real issues with uh, Donald Trump. Uh, deporting 11 million undocumented workers, building a fence across the border, killing the families of Muslim terrorists, um, all for free trade, but uh, going to force Apple to make their iPads and their iPhones in the United States, going to apply a 35 percent tariff on imported goods. I mean, he's a neo-isolationist. Stop. 
He, he raised eyebrows on Thursday uh, to, to that point. He told a woman in New Hampshire that he is looking at, uh, when she asked about it, replacing Muslim TSA employees who wear hijabs, the traditional headscarf, with mit, uh, military retirees, with veterans. What did you make of that comment? Well, just that uh, he has said 100 things that would disqualify anyone else from running for president, but uh, doesn't seem to affect him, and uh, just turn the page and... Here's the page turn. Now we have another reason that uh, might disqualify a presidential candidate. That statement in and of itself, it really is, uh, it's racist. You, you feel that uh, he's racist. You called him neo-isolationist, but you feel that his statement is racist. Do you think he's racist? Well, when it comes to Mexican immigration and that he would call uh, immigrants from uh, Mexico murderers and rapists, uh, Look, that's just not true. Uh, they're more law-abiding than U.S. citizens, and that is a statistic, and they're not taking jobs that U.S. citizens want. The stuff he's saying is just uh, incendiary. Incendiary, but you think he himself is racist? Based on his statements, uh, cl clearly. I mean, if the statements uh, are being made, uh, is that not reflective of, I mean, if you look up the definition of racism, calling uh, a uh, U.S. born uh, Hispanic uh, Mexican and his inability to judge others. I think I'm now semi-quoting Paul Ryan here. He, uh, Donald Trump gave a major speech this week. It was on international trade. He issued a challenge to Hillary Clinton. This is what he said. Ask Hillary if she's willing to withdraw from the TPP her first day in office and unconditionally rule out its passage in any form. I want to put that question to you. Would you withdraw from the TPP on your first day in office and unconditionally rule out its passage in any form? Uh, I'm a real skeptic when it comes to these trade agreements that, in fact, these trade agreements can be laden with crony capitalism. Uh, but based on uh, people that have been uh, advising me that I hold in very high esteem, uh, I'm being told that the Trans-Pacific Partnership would, in fact, uh, advance free trade. And so uh, I would support that document. Uh, the devil is in the details, though. And uh, for the most part, uh, legislation that passes really promotes crony capitalism, promotes those that have money uh, as opposed to a level playing field for everybody. So I am a skeptic, but based on what I know, I would, I would sign the TPP. I want to talk about something that is pretty interesting about you. You are an adventurer. You're quite an athlete. You have uh, done Mount Everest. You've run 100 miles in one stretch. I have no idea how you did that, but you biked 600 miles in th uh, 36 hours. So what is your advice to us mere mortals out there of how we can up our game? <laughs> One step in front of the other. Uh, anything that can go wrong uh, will go wrong. And I have to correct the 600 miles in 36 hours. Uh, that was a mistake. <laughs> uh, I believe it was 485 miles in 36 hours, uh, not 600. I was embellishing and uh, it was kind of on the spot. And of course, that was in the uh, live CNN town hall, which very much appreciated being able to do that. Uh, well, we certainly appreciate the fact check, although I'll tell you, I think 485 <laughs> miles in uh, 36 hours is nothing to sneeze at. Uh, Governor Johnson, thanks so it much was for tough. being with it us. It was tough. <laughs> Thank you very much. Great being with you. And coming up. He